It's me, the guy who, you know. Guy with the smoking crotch. That's one way to put it. Anyway, just calling to say I transferred the funds. Uh, well, they managed to save your, you know. Yeah, as much as they could. At least the pain is gone. Anyway, once it heals, I'll get a better model. Something top shelf. Why the hell would you do that? Um, is that a trick question? Why does anyone get a Mr. Stud? To keep Splash back down at the urinal? Forget I asked. See ya. Okay, well, at least I got some money. That's cool. I mean, I'm glad that his... His dick is good, at least. This is Lover of Ladies. Welcome to this week, Cyberpunk 2077, and... Let's get it started. Huh, so it's up here? V, we got data from Jotaro's private server found out who's been procuring people for his recordings. Meet Jay Hume, human trafficker and bona fide piece of shit. Damn. Check the sitch out for me. Deeds attached. All right, so let me quickly read um this important message from Judy here. Let me see. Let me see what she needs of me. Uh Hey, V, started tuning our virtue. Got me thinking about you again. Oh my god, she's so cute. Okay. Got no idea how much I'm digging this right now. Splicing two emotive tracks together is super hard. There's a lot of noise I need to filter out for this to come out baby soft. But the contrast in our actions, I mean, it'll give you shivers. Don't even have to amplify the emotional tracks, Nova. Hmm. Heh <laughs> sounds like someone's having a good time. That's cute. Yes! <gasps> Cuteness has nothing to do with it. Mi kalabasita. Kalabahu? Wait, kalabawa? Never mind, nothing. With a laughing emoji. Alright, I gotta go. Bye. Calabasita. No, hold on. I wanna know what that means. Let me let me look it up on Google. Hold on. Calabasita. What is it? She called me a squash and si yo. She called me a squash in Spanish. Calabasita is a squash she didn't ask i'm done she is so funny anyways anyways let me look at the other message hold on let me see the calabasita i can't believe she called me a squash bro that is so cute. All right, let me look at Regina Jones. Let me stop blushing. My bad. Like, um, damn, I'm getting so much messages. Okay, there you go. Countless dreamers head to big cities in search of a fresh start. Okay. And so many of them have nowhere to return to. Outcasts, loners, rejects. Jay Hunes put a target on the backs of those societies failed. And there is no shortage of them in Night City. Wow, he's definitely a bully, that's for sure. Here's the rundown on Jay Hoon's meat grinder. He identifies some poor bastard, kidnaps them, 
and delivers them to SCAVES for Biomon or other cyberware removal. Wow, he's a scumbag. They're stripped of their identities and end up the property of some shitbag like Jotaro to do with as they please. That is so horrible. Of course, no one really looks for these people, and even if they did, where would they start? What are the odds to find someone in Night City who doesn't exist? Let's face it, Jae Hyun is just one head of the Hydra, but fuck it, let's chop it off anyway. Could be a good while before more grow back in his place. Wait, I thought I was investigating here. I think I accidentally clicked on a different quest. I mean, knowing me, I probably did. Anyways, I'm gonna keep going with the small man big evil quest, so... Let me pull out my trusty shank here at this point. Why did I put it away? Come on, man. This is no time to play Peacekeeper here. I mean, no one's here, so... Okay, so I gotta find Jay in the restricted part of the slums, which... Judging by what I see here, I don't see too much... Restrictions, but you didn't see me. Anyways, oh shit! I'm not trying. To oh shit! I'm stuck. You know what? What am I doing? Why would I be hiding? Why the hell? Hey, yeah? Bitch. Okay, and your mom should have swallowed you, so... Where you at? Yeah! Move out the way! Next! Next! Quiet! Ain't no back talk! And you! Trying to play hero? Ooh, someone's shooting me. Anyways, who who are you to try and get me with your guns, bro? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Oh, I gotta leave? Hold on, let me let me do some shooting. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh shit, I can't shoot for shit. Ooh, I took some... Anyways, let me get up. Let me get up. Where is, where is she? Oh, oh, we got, we got a sniper. Anyways, you think I'm just gonna let you shoot me and get away? That's why you're glitched into the fucking vending machine, dipshit. Come here, bitch. You want, you want some? Huh? You want some? No, you're gonna have to come over here. You come on. Where you at, ho? Oh. Thank you, and I'll take that, because that looks pretty cool. Anyways, since I kind of did a boo-boo, my bad, sorry. I think it's time for me to head on out. You're carrying too much, remove unnecessary items for your inventory. Oh, come on. Alright, let me just do a temporary inventory cleanup. Give me a moment. Alright, so I did manage to get rid of a couple of things, which is fine by me. I mean... Uh oh. Jay Hume's dead. And here I thought nothing would cheer me up today. Great. Consider the gate closed. Hey, and she's happy. 
Now that is what I'm talking about. Oh my god! Oh my god! I ran over someone. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I did not mean to do that. Oh my god, fuck me. Do I answer? Oh, fuck me. Hold on. Uh, bad got in touch with me. They like short nicknames and simple gigs. So I'll spare you the fixer spiel and get right to the point. You'll find Bad's malware attached to this message. You have to download it. Just be careful. It's hella dangerous. And then upload it to the subnet in the H11 Mega Building. Piece of cake, right? Sorry to burst your bubble, but you'll have tigers on the prowl. Bad's plan is to attack some Arasaka subnet and use H1 as a smokescreen. Clever, right? Instead of leading them... Sorry, instead of leading to them... All traces of Bad's breach lead back right to the Mega Building. FYI, our Netrunner already hacked the Mega Building elevator, so getting into the server room won't be a problem. And also, someone reported me already, so I'm in big trouble. I didn't mean to run her over, honestly. That was just some mistake. Like, bad driving. Wait, I have to go to the main server? Oh fuck, who's coming? Oh shit. Hold on. I think someone's looking for me. Oh fuck. I'm sorry! Oh wait, let me get out, let me get out, I can't. Oh, oh, I'm running over more people! I'm sorry! Oh my god! I was trying to do a job, bro. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to, like... Not do that job for now? Oh, wait, wait. What is that? That star's fading. Does it mean that... They are going to forget? I hope so. I hope they're forgetting. Wait, who? Who? Who's seeing me? Hey, yo, listen. I'm innocent, man. I did not mean to run her over like dead ass. I'm gonna hide right in here. I just wanted to do a mission, bro, and I accidentally ran over someone with my horrible driving skills on this horrible ass car that I picked. Like, come on. Come on. Can I- can I do this or not? Yes! Okay. So I guess just like in GTA and Saints Row, if you escape the cops long enough, I guess they'll forget you? Let's see. Let's see if that theory applies to um cyberpunk because I just feel so bad. Okay, okay. I'm I'm trying not to run over anyone. Oh my god. Perfect. All right, so I got to get to the main server, right? And of course, this thing is not loaded. What the hell is that noise? Oh! Wow, they actually forgot. Thank goodness they forgave my crimes of running over two whole people. Okay. I have to tell you something, but if you tell another living soul, I will hunt you down to the ends of the earth, understand? So, you know that new song from Us Cracks? The one with Carrie Uridine? I normally don't listen to that kind of music, but shit, every time it plays on the radio, I start humming along. You should check it out. Well, it's funny you should mention that. The clap between Carrie and Us Cracks was kind of because of me. Surely you jest. No, but seriously. Come off it. You're not fooling anyone. How would you even know Carrie Uridine? 
All thanks to the biochip in my head, I'll have to leave it at that for now, because texting won't do justice to this story's sheer fucked upness. I'll wait for a better time to lay it all on you over a cold one. I've never met a real rock star. What's he like? I remember hearing somewhere that he wanted to kill himself and his career with a bang. Well, that's not completely untrue. Carrie needed help, and a friend too. Over the last few years, everything that happened with Johnny and Samurai, it's all on the net if you want to read about it, really started to get under his skin. He was going through a pretty violent 3-4 life crisis when I met him. I helped him get through it in one piece. Us Crack song is kind of like the icing on this whole cake. Aww, that's cool. Alright, so how do I get to the main server? Because this is pretty annoying, knowing how the elevators are, like, disabled. Like, the hell am I supposed to do? Get to the main server. Do I need to hack? Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to hack. Server room. Perfect. Rest in peace. Alright, so this should be easy, right? I mean... How many tigers are we talking here? Alright, here it goes. I think I've been here before, have I not? Okay, so... So many... Don't touch it. Coral was supposed to secure it. Nope. I guess I'm gonna have to kill mad people, so... Ooh, what's this? Ah, okay. I assume this is some weird, uh... Weird code that I have to crack later, so. Oh shit! Oh, one by one, bitch! One by one, let's go! Nope! You came to the wrong place, like. Let me turn off this camera. Where you at? Pussy, where you at? I love getting free stuff when I kill people. It's fun. Alright, so where's the others? I know there's one more. Oh, it's inside here, huh? No? Okay. Alright, so let me go ahead and upload the malware to the system, so... Nice! And another one getting a couple of money. What's this? Who is Doc Paradox? Who's hiding behind the disordered mask? Unsurprisingly, Doc Paradox won't say. After all, he's breaking the law. He has to protect his identity. If he revealed even the tiniest silver about himself, Netwatch agents would be at his door in less than a minute. But think about it. Think. What kind of person could successfully hide from the world's most powerful corporations for years? Who could hack into encrypted TV channels? Who could disclose highly classified corporate secrets? The answer is obvious. Doc Paradox is one of them. He's a puppet controlled by the establishment. To what an end? Maybe this is how corporations funnel our anger and frustration in this safe and controlled manner. Through a rebel who would never go so far as to issue a call to arms. Maybe he's being used to reveal facts that hurt the competition. Or maybe he's just a branding opportunity. In a month or two, 
Avante could put out a new Doc Paradox line for us to wear our disapproval. Only time will tell, but for Christ's sake, don't listen to a word out of this phony's mouth. Wow, okay, that's pretty... Pretty interesting theory here. Alright, so since I already got a whole bunch of stuff, thanks to me being such a kleptomaniac at times, only in the games, by the way, not in real life. I'm gonna go head on out because I have no place to be here anyways. Alright, ground floor, let's go. Oh, I just love the advertisements here. Look at this. All foods. Hey, I'm done. Let's go. That's happy, which means I'm happy, which means you get your eddies and everyone's happy. Yeah, I'm Contract happy. Thanks, v. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I don't have any more contracts, V. At least for now. Watson is better off thanks to all your work. If I might suggest something, take a break from the city for a while. Burnout can affect even the strongest individuals. So a bit of R&R &R would do you a world of good. I mean it. There's a little gift waiting for you in your stash to help you on your way. So long, V. A gift? Oh shit! So, you mean to tell me if I completed all of the tasks, I'll get a gift from each, um, each, um, employer? Oh my god, she's so sweet! Get out of here! Oh my god, I am so... I feel so appreciated. Wait, hold on. What's this? Collect your last reward. So it's this way? Okay. I don't know why you're so close to my car. Like, fuck off, bro. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna collect my last reward. Ignore my driving. I know it's horrendous. It's just that... You gotta remember, it just rained in Cyberpunk, so of course I'm gonna be slipping and sliding like crazy. Oh! 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 Shit! Yeah, whatever, buddy. Oh, shit, never mind. You know, I'm pretty happy that... I don't have to worry about car insurance or paying or anything like that, because that would have been so... awkward. Wait a minute, am I collecting the reward in my place? I guess most likely, let me see. Um, services? I hope I'm going to the right spot because if not, I'm gonna cry. Alright, so I assume she must have sent the reward to my place. Yeah, it looks like she did, so... I haven't been to my apartment in a long-ass time either, so let me see. You know what, let me just collect this gun. Alright, let's see what you got. What I like to hear. Is this the gun that you want me to get? Okay. Huh! Job complete the gun. Yeah, because in the first, first mission of the game, your job is to get a gun from this guy. And I actually forgot to do that a long time ago, so... Alright, so let me go up to my apartment then.
I wonder what's the surprise? What's the reward? Uh, collect my reward. Oh! <gasps> what? What? Increases mitigation chance by 5%. Oh wow, this is cool. It's a uh, cybernetic. I'm definitely going to put it on, that's for sure. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies and I'll see you next time.